So how does one lead? And what does leading even really mean? I'm someone who has been leading community gatherings for the past 10 years. I never thought of myself as a leader because I was just playing instruments and I'd have people come and I'd say, meditate while I'm playing the instruments. And someone said, oh, you're doing sound baths. I was like, I don't even know what that is. I'm just playing instruments and these people are meditating because the sounds are meditative as declared by me. I was playing the didgeridoo and I realized meditation is a lot easier when I'm playing this thing. So what I want to do is I want to share that vibe with other people. And from there it expanded into this thing where now I am leading these gatherings and AKA I'm now a leader. And then all of a sudden thrust into this position of people saying, well, this is what a leader does and you're leading, so you should be doing this and uh, you should be you know, being in charge of this and da 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 It's like, well, this is very interesting. What does a leader actually mean and what are we doing when we are leading something other than being in a position of being the one that brought everybody together and now we're here and now they think we're leading. Now we're responsible for their emotions or their discomforts. It's a very interesting and precarious place you can find yourself in if you're like me. You know, maybe some of us are like, I want to be a leader because I don't like the way that those leaders are doing things. If you're doing leadership because of that, that is a completely different point here. I literally just wish to share what I am creating with others in a space that is supportive to them. And then I've learned that, well, people expect things of me, so I need to do something for them to appease them. And then I started to have this like little anxiety that would come through my body and go, well, what would they want me to do? How, how should I do it? Well, that person looks like they're not having a good time. Well, um, now I'm responsible. I'm creating a responsibility so that this person is having a good time in my session because there's another person in the session that you know they're given the stink eye to and now I need to mediate and now I feel like it's my job, it's my job, it's my job and burden, 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 here we are. What is a leader actually supposed to do? Well, I'm gonna share with you from my experience that being a leader doesn't mean anything that anyone says that you're supposed to do really anything. It's a made up position. If you see it as simple as the, the way that I like to explain it, I'm just the guy that sent you the emails and I'm just the guy that let you in the door and now I'm just the guy that's talking. <laughs> Pretty simple, hey? Well, you can't argue with that. You really can't argue with that. But in our society, we like to project responsibilities instead of take our own responsibilities. So this is what has come through for me is that I realize my responsibility is to myself. And if I put that responsibility to myself, then I'm being a shining example for them to take a responsibility for themselves as well. So what does that actually look like? Well, first it's doing what I just said. It's simplifying what this actually is. It's like, I'm just this guy and I'm just this guy and I'm just this guy. And when people say, well, you should, you should, you should say, oh, okay, well understand, right? Because for me, I felt kind of victimized. Like what, what do I do here? I, I don't know what to do. Now I feel anxious. Now I feel like a burden, right? And if we look back on our lives, pretty much every single burden we've ever had was a burden from somebody else. Someone was trying to project responsibility onto us, maybe as we were a kid or as we we're going through life doing whatever that we're doing. But when we're older and we're doing something that we love, at least I'm doing something that I love, I'm going, well, I want to do the right thing by everybody. But let's simplify that. Doing the right thing by everybody is just doing the right thing by yourself and understanding that the complexity that gets entailed and entangled when people come together, it doesn't really have to get tangled up if you know how to untangle it. And it's just being aware that when humans come together, things will get a little bit tangled up. That's just how it works, right? You know, any community has some sort of drama, but how do you pull the thread of drama and unravel that knot just by taking that responsibility for yourself and simplifying the role that you're actually playing. See, one thing that can start to distort our perspective 
is when people start to give you some of their power or start to give you accolades for how good of a job that you did as a leader and as a facilitator. And it might not even get to your head, but it starts to program you regardless. And if it starts to program you, it did get to your head because we tend to say that things get to your head when it boosts your ego, right? But it also gets to your head when it does anything. If it means anything to you other than that's that one person's perspective and that means nothing to me because they are their own person and they're coming in here with their own unique set of circumstances and perceptions and they're just projecting what that perception is on me. This is part of how we awaken as a human being in general, but as a leader, it's a really good place because we get caught in the crossfires of all of these different things that will end up happening. And when we get caught in the crossfire, what can we do other than untangle? Well, where did that come from? Where did this come from? Oh, okay, I see how things got complicated here and got complicated there. One thing that I eventually had very little of was compassion for people trying to project onto me the things that they think I should do. I started to put up a hard boundary because I just didn't know how to deal with it. And then eventually I just saw that, oh, I am taking on this burden. I am believing some of the things that these people say about what a leader is supposed to do. A leader can lead by just bringing people together just being in a room talking and not being responsible for anything. This is my growth, this is my lesson, and this might be something that seems abstract to you. And if it's something that you disagree with strongly or anything like that, you can leave a comment in the description and I will address it at a later time. But this has been something that has greatly benefited me as far as relief and what we'd call enlightenment. Because when I take a burden off of myself, I enlighten naturally and I become more of who I am, which is just a guy that just sent emails and just opened the door and now I'm just talking. I turned on a camera and now you're seeing me. And I'm just sharing what my perspective is. If uh, my perspective did help you, I would greatly appreciate you liking and subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.